Welcome back everyone. We know you want to stay informed without getting bogged down. So today we're doing a deep dive into something pretty mind bending. Absolutely. We're talking solar panels that work at night. Exactly. <laughs> Sounds counterintuitive, right? But we've got some fascinating research from Stanford University and a great report from EcoPortal to unpack this. Yeah, and our mission today is really to get our heads around how this is even possible, what kind of impact it could actually have, you know, for real people, and why it's such a potentially big deal. Okay, let's jump right in. Nighttime solar. My first thought is, well, solar panels need sun. How, how does this work in the dark? That's the standard thinking, absolutely. And for your typical solar panel, yes, sun is key. But this new approach uses a completely different principle. Uh, radiative cooling. Radiative cooling. Yeah, think of it like this. On a clear night, the Earth is constantly radiating heat outwards, losing it into the coldness of space. It just happens naturally. Okay, so it's not grabbing sunlight. It's tapping into heat, leaving the Earth. Precisely. It's a clever twist. The Stanford team essentially integrated thermoelectric generators into specialized panels. Thermoelectric generators. Right. Those things that make electricity from a temperature difference. Exactly. So the panel cools down because it's radiating heat out. On a clear night, it can get colder than the air around it. It's that temperature difference between the cool panel and the slightly warmer air that the generator converts into electricity. Huh. OK. Now, the reports mention the output, something like 50 milliwatts per square meter, which compared to daytime solar panels getting, what, 200 watts? Sounds really small. Oh, it is. It's definitely a fraction of daytime power, no doubt about it. Um, 50 milliwatts versus 200 watts is a huge difference. So what's the point then if it's so little? Well, that's the interesting part. Even that small trickle of power can be incredibly useful. The sources talk about powering low energy devices, think uh, environmental sensors, basic LED lighting. Ah, OK. So not running your air conditioner, but maybe keeping a sensor network online overnight in a remote field. Exactly that kind of thing. Or providing essential light in off-grid homes. And EcoPortal stress the need for clear nights. Right. Why is that so critical? Clouds get in the way. They do. Think of clouds like a, well, a blanket. They trap the heat radiating from the earth, reflecting some of it back down. So the panel can't cool down as much, less temperature difference. Precisely. The temperature difference shrinks and the thermoelectric generator produces less or maybe even no power. Professor Sean Hufan at Stanford, he acknowledged the output is modest right now. Yeah. But crucially, he also emphasized there's significant potential for improvement. 